Hello, my name is Sydney, still assessed in Seoul Hanada School 2, and welcome back to the Kent Coast Walk. Today, you told me where I finished off last time in the seaside town of Margates. I'm outside the Turner Contemporary Art Gallery here, and today we've got a very exciting walk ahead of us of sandy beaches and bays. We're going to be walking from the bay, which is where we are right now, through Warple Bay, Palm Bay, Bosney Bay, Kingsgate Bay, Joss Bay. Uh, Stone Bay, St. Mary's Bay, until we get to Viking Bay of Broadstairs. That's a lot of bays! <laughs> and we might even have to paddle in the water a little bit. I've got my Canterbury and Isle of Thanet, Perm Bay, Zeal and Whitstable map. Five miles to Broadstairs apparently. We're leaving the bay of Margate behind us as we swoop around towards Warple Bay, which will be around that corner. But we've just spotted a sculpture in the sea. Look at that. It's one of those, like, a time statues by Anthony Gormley. Please enjoy the sculpture safely from the beach. Sea wall and Turner Contemporary. This is the legendary Warpool swimming pool. A protected area of water surrounded by a concrete wall where people can go paddling, probably full of seaweed and screaming children. But it's absolutely the biggest attraction of Warpool Bay. Beach Cafe, Cafe. As we enter our second bay of the day, Palm Bay. There's a big van in the way. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. Palm Bay. Slightly more popular than uh, Warpool Bay. And to me, it appears like it's uh, being maintained a lot better. Warpool Bay was just coated in seaweed, whereas Palm Bay behind me here, uh, the seaweed's been partially cleared out. There's more people on the beach. Obviously, there's the cafe back there. And the sand. Look at that. We've made it to a very significant point in our journey along the Kent Coast Walk. We're at Fourness Point on the Isle of Thanet, and this is where we change from the North Kent Coast to the East Kent Coast. The whole time up until now we've been on the North Coast, so that's like insane how much of the journey that's taken up. And we're now on the Eastern Coast, it's officially the North Sea. And we've been on the North Sea for a while, but this is the maximum extent that you could possibly consider the Greater Thames Estuary to reach. So yeah, that way is where we just came from Palm Bay, and this way is where we're going to be entering Botany Bay.
as you can see, Bosni Bay is incredibly busy compared to the last two bays that we were at. And we have arrived at the famous Bosni Bay stacks, the sea mounds that are at high tide floating in the sea. Let's make our way through this maze of chalky sea stacks. Oh, a little pond. Look how cute that is. I wonder if any crabs get in there at high tide. There's people over there. Oh, that warning sign back there says warning of tide cutoff. It is always so fun to walk through these cliffs. Like, wow. And there's lots of different ways to go. Um, I actually did a video on Bosni Bay back in 2016 where me and JC visited and the tide was much higher up that time. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, <laughs> Stop running, you're getting my trousers, my shorts wet. I don't like getting my feet wet. But this time the tide is out so we can get past without issue. Bosni Bay! Ah. Bosni Bay is really like two bays if you think about it. You've got the bay that we just went through on the other side of the sea stacks and now that we're past the sea stacks there's a second bay which is also considered a part of Bosni Bay. Uh, so Botany Bay being a bit greedy there. But it really does feel like the same area. Uh, so iconic. It's probably one of the most iconic um, sea cliff areas in Kent with the, the sea stacks and we've got just coming up in a minute Kent's own answer to the famous Durdle Door. My mum just spotted up there in the cliffs is some seagull nests. You can see their heads popping up. Hey JC, do you remember when we were here in 2016? Yeah. I never showed it in the video, but JC actually got injured that day. Yeah. What happened? Foot happened. Foot happened. Yeah. With like a rock or something. And some like weird sea slugs. Barnacles. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't happen today. You're wearing shoes. And like, I made like little nests underneath my toenails. Ooh. <laughs> We've gotten to a section where we have to go onto the wet seaweed. And if it's not clear already, ah, no, ah, then this is definitely a low tide walk. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's try this stone. There we go. How are you finding your sludgy adventure, JC? I've probably cut my foot open like three times. Uh, I don't think you have. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, <that. laughs> now you have. Here we are at Kent's answer to Durdle Door, and that is Kingsgate Bay on the other side. Hi everyone! Oh, that's a massive water puddle. Um, probably along this jetty of rock here. And then I'm here. Oh, look at that reflection. That is really cool.
Wow, what an incredible sea structure that is. Kingsgate Bay, our next sandy popular beach on the Isle of Thanet. It's well known for the castle that sits on top of the hill, or the cliff top. Joss Bay. Oh, Joss Bay is probably the busiest bay that we've seen since Margate's the bay. You've got bouncy castles, you've got a little cafe stand thing. Uh, the beach is absolutely packed with people, uh, which is very interesting because there isn't actually a village or a town here. This one's in the middle of the countryside. Up on top of the cliffs, you have got North Foreland Lighthouse. Au revoir, Joss Bay. There's JC. Let's make our way around this corner. Significant moments unlocked. We have made it to the easternmost point of the entire county of Kent. Right here, this cliff. Nothing is further east than that in Kent. In fact, nothing is further east than where we are right now in England, with the exception of Norfolk and Suffolk. The last time we were at one of these significant uh, only four in Kent, the northern, the eastern, the southern, the western, uh, was all the way back on the Hoo Peninsula. Here we are. This is the northernmost point of Kent. And we're only going to be seeing the southernmost point at the very end of our walk when we get to Dungeness. Not today's walk, at the very end of all the walks. And the westernmost is inland, so we'll never see that. Okay. <laughs> you, you want me to carry this treasure, Mum? Yeah. Both of them? No, just that bit. I'm not unreasonable. Just, just this bit? Yeah. All right then. Um, uh, <laughs> I'll do it. Go on, JC. See if you can pick it up. Let's go. Careful you don't break your back. I ain't risking it. How are you finding this isolated section of the beach? Sorry. Let's go cave exploring. Whoa. Whoa, there's a gate at the end. That we can bypass. Oh, there's an actual, like, active security thing. <laughs> I think it goes into someone's garden. Yeah. That's very coy, cool, isn't it?
We've left Stone Bay behind us there, uh, which is where we just had that music montage. And we have arrived at Broadstairs Viking Bay. Look how crowded it is! Here we are, at the end of the Broadstairs Harbour Arm. There's not much of a harbour, it's just a beach, but that's what I'm calling it. And wow, we can see so much from here. You can see like all of the Broadstairs Beach and the houses. You can see the White Cliffs of Dover beyond the town of Deal. And you can even see, I won't be able to get it on the camera, but on the horizon there is the faintest, tiniest little sliver of the North France White Cliffs near Calais, which is incredible. That's the first time on the entire walk that we've been able to see another country, uh, France, and as we get closer and closer to the White Cliffs of Dover, that's only going to get more visible to us and I, I just can't wait. There is a cafe restaurant called The Jesse at the end of the Harbour Arm, which I'm now guessing is probably called The Jesse. A little information board about some of the broad stairsy things. Bleak House and Napoleonic Eagles Landing. You can have a quick read of that. And a quick read of Bleak House. Something to do with Charles Dickens. And that house is that one right there. Hi everyone. Um, but this is actually goodbye because we have reached the end of today's video. Next time we are walking from Broadstairs to Ramsgate. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also maybe check out my Twitter and Instagram in the description. And uh, I shall see you next time. Goodbye everybody! What about your rainbows? Oh, and don't forget to believe in the rainbows!